Good morning, yogis. Kristen Kavanagh here. I'm trying a new setup today. I'm using my computer instead of my phone, so bear with me um, as we continue to flesh out this big experiment. Um, welcome to your mat. Today's Saturday here in Seaside at Seaside Yoga. We usually do um, a real big energy full room class on Saturdays. Um, and in order to maintain that kind of sense of normalcy for myself, I'm here at the studio. And I hope that uh, in encouraging you to maintain whatever normalcy you can during this odd time, uh, that you can come to your mat during the normal times that you would usually practice as well. You know, a big part of maintaining a consistent home practice or a dedicated home practice is keeping those times carved out. So creating space not only in your home for your practice physically, but also creating space in time for your practice. So if you usually come to Saturday morning at 10 o'clock class, jump online, find something that you can do every Saturday at 10 a.m. Maybe it's my class, maybe it's a different class. Um, all of these online resources give us a really great opportunity to explore what is out there globally. So we have the options of what what are our kind of support supportive things like our our uh, comfort comfort foods, but comfort yoga practices locally. We can still have those options here, but now we get the opportunity to kind of explore what's what else is out there. So it's kind of an exciting time for that. Lots of yoga teachers coming to online platforms to offer you what they can during this time. Anyways, let's jump in. Um, want to bring a group intention to the practice today. A lot of us spent a lot of the week absorbing the energy of all of the kind of doom and gloom and worry and fear that's out there right now. There's there's no fault in that. It's just something that happens uh, when there's uncertainty and when there's times of transition and when things are out of whack and we're out of our normal routine. So let's leave some of what we've accumulated this week aside and this morning really focus on or whenever you're practicing, really focusing for this session, this practice on releasing doom, gloom, worry, fear, and focusing on enjoying the function of the lungs, enjoying the sensation of movement in your body, uh, and really focusing inward and making this a time for yourself where you, your only responsibility is to move and breathe and nurture yourself and give yourself a little bit of self-care. Diatribe over, let's move, breathe, and get out of the head space that we've been in all week long. So letting go of everything we've accumulated this week and replacing it with something nice and calm and serene. We are going to work today though, I'm going to warn you, it's not going to be an easy practice. This is more of an intermediate to advanced flow. We're going to start on our backs, so go ahead and move over to your mat. We're going to lay back and we're going to start by just giving the knees a little hug into the chest, close down the eyes, rock a little bit side to side. Take a deep breath in, open up the mouth, fog up the mirror. Just starting to arrive to your body, noticing where you might be feeling a little tight, a little tense this morning. Breathing into those spaces. Take the knees around in a big circle, one direction and then the other. And then let's keep the right knee hugged into the chest. Reach long through that left heel. Take a bunch of deep breaths here, and each time you exhale, hug that right knee a little bit closer toward your chest. Maybe circling out the ankles a few times. And then hug that right knee out to the side a little bit, opening out the hip. And then take that right foot into your right hand. Use your left hand to anchor your left hip to the ground. So we're in a half happy baby here. You can take your right hand to the outside edge of the foot. You can take it to the arch of the foot. You can take a yogi toe lock if you prefer. Let's take three big breaths here. Those of you asking for hip openers, this is a really nice one. And 
With that last inhale, we're going to drag the knee across the body. Take it to the earth on the left side of your mat. Open up that right arm nice and long out to the side. Relax the feet, relax the legs. Stretch, twist, breathe, three breaths. Feeling those pectoral muscles open up a bit. Last one. And then bring everything back to center. Center your hips on your mat. Let's take the knees in a circle one direction and then the other. Keep the left knee hugged in. Send the right leg long. Reach through the heel. Three deep breaths. Hug that knee out to the side a bit, opening out the hip. And then take your half happy baby, reaching for either the arch or the outside edge of your foot. Right hand anchors the right hip, drawing the knee toward the earth. Soften into the exhales. Remember, focusing in on enjoyment of the breath. Enjoyment of the sensations of the body, letting go of everything else. Bring that knee back through center, take it to the floor on the right, open the left arm out, relax the feet and legs, and just notice everywhere in your body you feel that deep twist. The neck and the spine and the shoulder. The internal organs are getting a nice little massage here. Two more. Bring the knees back into center and give them a little hug if you want that rotation of the knees one direction and the other take it and we're going to roll over to the right or the left and press up to a seated position you can either sit in just a comfortable cross-legged seat if you'd like to take half lotus you can tuck the right foot to the left inner I. What we want here are the knees pressing down toward the earth. You can sit up on a pillow if that's more comfortable in your hips. Take your hands to your knees, sit up nice and tall, take a big breath in, big sigh out, letting go of some of that stuff you accumulated this week. And then start into your Sufi circles, just starting to move and breathe, coordinating breath with movement. I like to talk about how movement can open up the energy channels in the body and the breath can be that clearing, cleansing for the energy channels in the body. So kind of visualize that process as you move and breathe. Expanding range of motion, expanding movement, expanding breath. Coming back to that intention of enjoying the lung function, enjoying the breathing, Enjoying the sensation of movement. Go ahead and take it the other way. I like to feel that in my sacral region. I can feel it in the rib cage. Just creating some space in the body. A couple more. Start making your way back to a neutral spine. Sitting up nice and tall, take a couple rolls into the shoulders, maybe one at a time. You might feel a tingle of energy start to move through the body, that energy that's been stagnant while we sleep or with inactivity. Inhale, shrug the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, roll them down and back. Sweep your arms up to the sky. And let's let the right hand drop down between the shoulder blades. Grab the right elbow, chin to chest. Take a nice deep stretch into the tricep. Breathe. You can either stay here or if you're looking for a little bit more, fold away from that lifted elbow. I'm getting used to my cueing here. 
I believe we've got the right elbow lifted here, folding to the left. Inhale, come up to center. Let's take a circle into the wrists, if you can see the wrists. Let that left hand drop down between the shoulder blades, chin to chest, stretching into the tricep and the shoulder and the neck. And if you want a little bit more from that stretch, fold to the right. Breathe. Finding your breath, finding a good quality of breath in every pose. If we, if we get to a point where we're holding the breath and there's no room for breath, probably means we've gone too far into the stretch and that we need to back off a bit. Inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. Let that right hand drop to the earth. Reach up with the left hand and fold over to the right. Three breaths. You can slide that right hand out a little bit further into your exhales. Inhale, back up to center. Let the left hand come down. Reach up, fold over. Deepening the stretch each time you exhale. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale, float the arms down to your sides. Let's make our way onto hands and knees. We're just going to take some head rolls here, warming up into the neck. So if half circles are enough for you, take half circles. If you want a big, full circle in one direction, take it. Let the rest of your body just kind of move with you and breathe as you move. Let's rotate the opposite direction. Remember, opening up energy channels with movement, cleansing and clearing them with the breath. Drop into a few rounds of cat-cow on your own. Just finding that intuitive movement, connecting breath with movement. And let's take Balasana Child's Pose. Knees together, arms alongside. Rock a little side to side into the hip flexors. And then we'll inhale up to hands and knees and take our first downward facing dog. Tuck the toes and lift the hips. Now like a bent knee, chuck downward facing dog here. Inhale, rock forward, lazy up dog. Lay the legs down, spread out across the chest. Little rock and sway. Maybe tilt the head back, stretching through the throat. Maybe a lion's breath here, deep breath in. Stick out the tongue. Wide knee, child's pose, arms long, knees wide. Inhale, hands and knees, exhale, downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna rock forward into a plank. Stack shoulders over the wrists, engage the core, knitting the rib cage together, pulling the navel to the spine. We're going to drop down onto the forearms for a forearm plank. If you want to stay in a regular plank, great. If you're feeling a little shaky here and you want to just drop the knees, you can, but keep the core engaged. From here, we're going to take the knees to the ground, coming into puppy pose. As if you were on hands and knees, we're going to pitch the upper body forward and get a nice broad stretch through the upper back. Inhale to hands and knees, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward, plank. Find your power, find your strength here. Drop down to the elbows, forearm plank. Breathe. From here, release the knees, puppy pose, stretch. And 
Back up the hands and knees, downward facing dog, getting ready to stand and begin our vinyasa practice. Bend your knees, look at your hands, step forward. We're going to leave the hands on the earth, inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, melt your belly towards your thighs, let your head drop and dangle. Knees are very bent here. Little nod, yes, little shake, no. Head feels like a bowling ball at the end of the neck here. Pedal out the knees a little bit if you have the space. And let's leave the right hand on the ground. Bend into that right knee deeply. Take the left arm up to the sky. Big twist. Breathe. And then release the left hand. Bend the left knee deeply. Straighten the right leg. Take the right arm up. Take a big breath in. Exhale, release the pose. While you ragdoll roll to the top of your body, I'm going to readjust the camera. And I might continue to have to readjust the camera here, depending on how we go. All right, let's give that a try. Let's give it a little bit more headroom here, hey? Let's try that. So here we are standing. Let's go ahead and root down through all four corners of both feet. I'm going to drag my mat back a little bit. There we go. There we go. We're finding it. We're finding it. Rooting down through all four corners of both feet. Stand up nice and tall. Relax the shoulders. Relax the hands. Relax the eyes. We're going to interlace the fingers behind you, bend the knees just a little bit, soft knees. Inhale, open up the heart, and on the exhale, we're going to fold down over the legs. Let the head drop. On the next inhale, we're going to scoop the fingers down toward the earth, coming into chair pose. Biceps to the ears, pull the navel back to the spine, take a big breath in, and as you exhale, fold down over the legs. Inhale, lift head and heart, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step to a plank position. Take a big breath in on the exhale, maybe coming down to chaturanga, maybe coming all the way down to your belly. Inhale, scooping up to your back bend, and exhaling, press back, downward facing dog. Using your core, pull your right foot forward between your hands. Pivot your back heel down, use your core, rise up, warrior one. Take a really big breath in, and on the exhale, release warrior one, step back to plank, and flow through vinyasa. Maybe the knees come down, try to let the chest hit before the belly. Inhale, scoop to your back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Still enjoying movement and breath connected in your body. Pull the left foot forward, pivot the back heel down, Rise up, warrior one. Take a big breath in, anchor your pose, and then exhale, release your pose. Step back to plank. Flow through your vinyasa, whatever that looks like this morning, or this afternoon, or this evening. Take a big breath in, exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look at your hands, walk or hop to the top of your mat. Feet hip width apart, dip your fingertips to the earth. Biceps to the ears. Inhale, rise up, lean back. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a moment. Give me a moment. <laughs> Doing the practice and I'm calling the practice a new experience for me. Inhale, take your hands behind you. Peel the heart open, soften the knees. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, drop the fingertips to the earth. Sit low into your chair pose. Take a big breath in. Exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, lift head and heart flat back. Exhale, fold. Maybe a hop back to your plank, maybe a step. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, lower the knees or come down through chaturanga. Inhale, peel to your back bend. Exhale, downward dog. Use your core, pull the right foot forward, pivot the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Take a big breath, exhale, release the pose. Step to plank, flow through vinyasa. Pull the left foot through, 
Pivot the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Anchor your pose, breathe, and then release the pose. Step back to plank, flow through vinyasa. Bend your knees, look at your hands, walk forward, scoop fingertips to the earth, sit low, chair pose. Inhale, rise up, exhale, back to center. Another round, inhale, take your fingers behind you, peel the heart open, soften the knees, exhale, fold over the legs. Inhale, scoop down, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold, step or hop to plank, move through vinyasa. Right foot forward. Warrior one, rise with the inhale. Anchor the pose, release the pose. Step to plank, flow through. Left foot pulls through. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, release. Step back, move through. Bend your knees, look forward, step up, dip into chair, rise up, lean back, hands to heart center, close your eyes, check in. Slow the heart rate by slowing the breath. Sweep your arms overhead. Drop hands for opposite elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold right. Inhale to center. Exhale, fold left. Inhale, center. Reach up, lean back. Exhale, slow dive over the legs. Inhale, lift head and heart, flat back. Exhale, let's just hold and hang here. Let your hands step back to plank. We're going to let the legs come down, dropping into our lazy up dog. Stretching through the abdominals, little rock. And we're going to come into a wide knee child's pose, arms long. Spread that right arm underneath the left arm, right cheek to the ground. If you want a little more, you can wrap that left arm around behind your back, catching the right inner thigh. Release the bind if you have it. Make your way back to child's pose. Two breaths. Thread the left arm underneath. If you took the bind on the other side, wrap that right arm back. Catch the left inner thigh. Release the bind. Two breaths in child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, downward dog. Bend your knees, look at your hands, walk to the top of your mat. Sweep your arms to the sky. Hands to your heart center. One more moment, check in, find your balance. And let's take a nice slow flow vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, dive over the legs. Inhale, lift head and heart, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step to plank. Lower down through your vinyasa.
vinyasa, maybe the knees come down, maybe you take a chaturanga. Inhale, scoop to your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to use the core, pull the right foot forward between the hands. We're going to bend that back knee a lot, maybe shorten your stance slightly, engage your core, and come up with your hands to your waist, coming into crescent pose. Get your balance, start straightening out that back leg, opening the hip, and deepen into that lunge. Bring your hands to your heart center. Find a focal point for your gaze to steady you. Take your arms to the sky. Take a big breath in. On the exhale, we're going to drop that back knee, bring your hands to your heart, and twist that left elbow outside the right knee, pressing into your prayer twist. Inhale, reach your arms for the sky. Anjaneyasana, reaching forward into the hips. Maybe a little lean back and look up. Take a big breath in and on the exhale, release the hands down. Rock back, runner stretch, half split. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, heart toward thigh. Forehead toward shin, stretch and breathe. Inhale, rock forward, sweep the arms. Exhale, release the hands down. Tuck that back toe, lift the back knee, and pivot the back heel to the earth. Rise up, warrior one. Take a big breath in, and on the exhale, open out, warrior two. I tend to have a floating back arm, so let's go ahead and bring the hands into the shoulders. Send them directly out. Gaze to your right middle finger. Get low. Reach forward and try setting that right hand inside the right foot, left arm to the sky. Flip the palm and as you lower the arm down, deepen into that lunge. On the inhale, pull back. Try not to move that front lunge. Flip the front palm, drop the back hand, reverse. Come back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, feet to parallel, hands to your waist. On the inhale, lean back, open up the chest. Exhale, fold down, lining up fingers with toes, head drops to or toward the earth. And left hand reaches to the right foot, right arm reaches up to the sky. Breathe into the chest and reverse. Release the pose, crawl around toward that right foot, drop the back knee, sweep the arms up, Anjaneyasana, inhale, exhale, release, step back to plank, and flow through vinyasa. We'll meet in downward dog, and then we'll rock forward to plank, move through another, I call this a low flow vinyasa, without coming back up to standing, We'll pull the left knee into the chest, place the foot, pivot the back heel, rise up, warrior one. You've already gone to the wrong place, bring it back down. Bring the back toes down, lift the heel. Maybe shorten the stance, we're coming to crescent pose here. There we go. Straighten that back leg, open the hip, deepen the lunge. Another casualty of me doing full out practice while teaching. One more breath. We're going to drop that back knee, bring hands to the heart, twist the right elbow outside the left knee, press the palms together, prayer twist. Breathe. Slow the heart rate by slowing the breath. Reach the arms to the sky, Anjaneyasana. Release the hands down, rock back, half split. Lift the heart, melt to the thigh. And 
Big inhale, rock forward, sweep the arms, lean back. Exhale, release the pose. Tuck that back toe, lift the back knee. Now pivot the back heel, rise up, warrior one. Take a big inhale and then exhale, open out, warrior two. Line up your arms with your shoulders. Gaze to the left middle finger, get low. Reach forward, set the left hand inside the left foot, right arm to the sky, flip the palm. As you lower the arm, deepen the lunge. Pull back up, warrior two. Flip the front palm, drop the back hand, reverse. Come back, warrior two, straighten the front leg, feet to parallel, interlace your fingers. Inhale, reach open the chest, exhale, fold. Sorry for your view. Sorry, not sorry, right? Inhale, pull all the way back up. Take a little bit of a back bend, one that feels good in your body, release. Pivot back toward that left foot. Step back to plank, flow through vinyasa. Big inhale to your back bend, exhale, down dog. Rock forward to plank, lower down again. Inhale, reaching to your back bend. Exhaling down the dog. Release the knees, either wide knees or knees together, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees, exhale, downward facing dog. We're going to take the right leg up toward the sky. We're going to bring the right knee to the outside of the right wrist, stacking up for pigeon pose. I'm going to check my camera angle while you guys get into this pose. Can't see, my screen has gone dark. Inhale, lift up your heart, find a little back bend. Exhale, melt forward into the hips, maybe coming down onto the elbows. Maybe the forehead comes down onto your hands. Oh yeah, let's go with that for our floor work here. I don't know how much of this you've been seeing and not, but anyway, we took that right elbow to the, or right knee to the outside of the right wrist, lifted through the heart, melting down, pigeon. Let's hold here for two minutes. Nice big hip opener today. Could all use a little big hip opener, a little big, a little big hip opener today. Try to really melt into whatever area of the hips or the inner thighs feels like there's a lot of resistance. So maybe soften that resistance. Soften your belly, soften your forehead, your jaw, close your eyes. Focus on how good the breath feels in your body, how good that little bit of increased heart rate feels in your body. Just relax, let go of whatever's felt heavy this week. Maybe some emotion comes up, you know, we pack emotion and when we suppress it, we pack it down toward the hips. So when we do hip openers, sometimes that emotion comes up, it has room to finally release from the body. Comes up as tears, but they don't have to be attached to anything, just to let that emotion come up and out. Breathe through it, let it release. Such a healthy practice to let that emotion release. And however that manifests for you. Maybe it's laughter. Or breath. Take about three more big inhales and exhales. If you've got a little more room in that stretch now, maybe deepen it a little bit. Last inhale and exhale. 
And we're going to start pressing up off that front leg. Let's take a little bit of a back bend. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Maybe the head tilts back a little bit. For those of you who have a lot of flexibility in the hips, maybe the hands come to the heart center, not for me today, or up to the sky. We're going to walk that right hand inside the right knee. Circle the left hand back. See if you can catch that left foot, focusing on a quad stretch. Also getting that left shoulder opener. Go ahead and release that foot. And let's take a little vinyasa here if you want it, or meet us in down dog. So I'll take that right leg up to the sky, maybe opening out the hip. And then set the right foot back down. Take the left leg up. Bring the left knee to the outside of the left wrist. Bring that shin toward parallel with the front of the mat. Inhale, lift up through the chest. And then exhale, melt forward over that front shin. Take a moment to get settled. Take a couple of breaths. We'll be here two minutes. If you find that the mind is using the opportunity and the stillness to wander, maybe use a mantra here. A mantra is a set of words that we use to focus the mind away from the thoughts. So we use mantras like let go. We think the word let with the inhale, the word go with the exhale, just to give the mind an activity to keep it busy so it doesn't get busy in all the other directions. Could be words like cheese sandwich. Really, any words that you can put the mind to work on that don't even have to mean anything. That does the trick. That's why we often use Sanskrit words as well. We don't always know what they mean. It's just an activity for the mind. We'll be here about one more minute. You're starting to have a little bit more space in the hips, maybe deepen that stretch. Notice the quality of your breathing. Let the breath flow freely through the lungs. Enjoying that sensation. One more really big breath in, really big sigh out, melt into the pose. And then start gently pressing up off that front leg. Walk the hands back a bit, lifting out through the heart, stretching through those abdominals. Again, maybe the hands come to the heart center, maybe they reach up for the sky if you've got a lot of flexibility in the hips today. And then we'll walk the left hand inside the left knee, circle the right hand back, catch that right foot, maybe. Quad stretch. And then release the foot. Take vinyasa if you want it. Otherwise, step to down dog and maybe reach that left leg up to the sky, opening the hip. Coming back to down dog. Last opportunity for vinyasa if you want it. Take one or two or three. The rest of us are going to meet in child's pose in a moment. Take whatever you feel like you need to finish out your vinyasa sequence here or your vinyasa practice. When you come to your last downward dog, inhale, rock forward to your lazy up dog, and exhale, press into a child's pose of your choice. We're going to be in child's pose for one minute. So if you feel like you need a little bit more vinyasa practice, take another minute of vinyasa. We'll be here in child's pose waiting for you when you're ready.
And one more inhale and exhale for everyone here. In fact, why don't you all stay here while I adjust the camera one more time as we come into our seated postures. Just take your child's pose or if there's other movement you'd like to take here for the next minute or so, please feel free to do so. Take this even a little bit closer here. Going off book. All right, obviously going to need to rearrange just a little bit. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, let's come into um, Dandasana. So our legs are long here. Soft knees, long legs. Let's go back just a little bit, bring my tea. So reaching through the heels, sit up nice and tall into the spine. Bring your hands to either side of your hips, press down, lift through the spine. So instead of lifting the chin, we're gonna lift the crown of the head. So back here where like a high ponytail would be. We're gonna lift the crown, soften the face, and use those core muscles in both the front and back body to support you here in this pose. Breathe into the chest. And then we'll pull the left foot into the right inner thigh. Soften that right knee. Inhale, reach through the arms. Exhale, heart toward thigh. Forehead toward shin. Maybe the hands are around the foot for traction. Maybe they're on the floor. Maybe they're on either side of your shin. Try to make the hands do the same thing. What we don't want is this. We want the shoulders to be level and the heart to be lifted and lowered. Soften the back of the neck without pulling chin to chest. Now I'll stop talking and let you breathe and stretch. Just kind of walk the hands up and out of that stretch. And we're gonna open up the hips a little bit. Take your hands out in front of you. Let's keep a little softness in that knee and just stretch forward a little bit. We don't want to overdo this stretch because we don't want to put tension in the knee joint. Let's take a big breath in, close the eyes with the exhale. Couple more. Walk the hands back up to neutral. We're gonna bend that right knee enough that we can get to the yogi toe lock. So yogi toe lock, index, middle finger, and thumb. Create a lock around the big toe. Sit up so you're opening your sternum toward me. Send that left arm up and over. Getting a nice big stretch through the side body and the waist, down through the layers of skin, into the muscle and the organs, breathe. Remember, if you can't breathe, you've probably taken the stretch too far. Back off a bit. Inhale, sweep it back up to center. Send both legs out in front of you. Pull that right foot to the left inner thigh. Bend that left knee a little bit. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Let's pull the heart. Lift on the inhale. Exhale, melt down. Two more breaths here. Maybe a little more depth into that stretch for you as it opens up. And then just release the stretch, walk the hands up, lift the hips just a little bit. You can see how far my hips are coming up off the ground from this angle, opening them out. Hands out in front of you, soft into that knee, lift the heart, exhale, melt toward the earth. Giving yourself only what you need. Don't, don't overstretch here. Notice all the real subtlety in that stretch. You don't have to go far to get something deep. Walk the hands back up. Bend that knee a lot until you can get to the foot. 
Even if you can do it with a straight leg, we don't want to hyperextend, so put a little bit of softness in there. We're going to open the sternum toward the blue wall, sweep that right arm up and over. Inhale, come back up around. Send both feet forward. Bend the knees until you can get to the yogi toe lock. Pull into the chest, your traction point, and then exhale, melt toward the legs. Relax the neck, relax the face. As you acclimate, if there's room to straighten the legs a little bit, take it. Let's take three more breaths here. Getting that release for the low back, the massage for the internal organs, the relaxation for the mind. If you're clenching your jaw, relax. Maybe think into the mantra, let go. Or cheese sandwich, if that's more your speed. Go ahead and release the bind. Take your hands behind you about forearms distance back. Fingers are pointing at you. We're going to press into the heels, lift the hips, point the toes, open up the chest and let the head dip back only to a point that's comfortable in your neck. Take one more really big breath in, stretch into the shoulders, exhale, release the hips. Bring your chin towards your chest. Let the soles of your feet come together. Scoot up really nice and close. Let's take a few bounces with the knees, a couple head rolls, noticing how you feel. And then root down through your sits bones. Lift into your chest. Inhale. Exhale. Reach your sternum toward the arches of your feet. Snuggle into your stretch. Maybe the forearms come down. Maybe the forehead comes down to your hands. Not mine today. Notice where you're at. Notice what your stretch feels and looks like today. Close your eyes. Breathe. Maybe come to the mantra. Or just enjoy your breathing. To those healthy lungs. Finding some gratitude. Some peace in this moment. One more. Press up to seated, hands behind you, fingers pointing at you, lift up into the heart space. Let the head tilt back, open up the mouth and breathe some cleansing breaths. Into the throat chakra and the heart chakra. And then pull your chin back up to your chest. Let's take the right hand to the left knee, twist. And then reverse. And come back through the center, make your way onto your back. Check my framing here. We're gonna bring the feet, I'm gonna switch it around so my voice comes into the audio a little bit better. So your feet are lined up to hip width apart, flattening the shoulder blades across the back. Bring your heels close enough to your body that you can barely brush the backs of your heels with the tips of your middle fingers. On the inhale, we're going to press into the soles of the feet, lift the hips to the sky. Tuck your shoulders up underneath your body, interlace your fingers, and then maybe tuck them up even higher, soften the glutes a little bit. Breathe into that back bend. Feet are rooted through the balls and heels, toes are soft. On the inhale, we're going to come up onto the tiptoes, release the hands, roll down. 
We're going to come into two more rounds. If full wheel is part of your normal practice, you may take that here on either the second or third round. Let's go ahead and come back in when you're ready. Realign your feet, press into your balls and heels of your feet, lift your hips, interlace your fingers, and pull the shoulders up underneath you. Stretch and breathe into the back bend. Also getting that nice little massage for the thyroid gland. Inhale up onto the tiptoes, roll down. We'll come in one last time. You can rest it out if you like, just hugging your knees into your chest. Get a little bit more give here in the stretch on this last round. Inhale, lift up into the toes, release. Roll down, bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a little hug. And let's take the feet up into the sky, just kind of a little bit of an inversion here. If you'd like full shoulder stand here, where you kick the legs up into your hands, that was a terrible demonstration, but this is not a pose I'm real well. It's not part of my normal practice. If it's a part of your normal practice, take it. For the rest of us, we're going to send the legs up to the sky, roll out the ankles a few times, one direction and then the other, and just rest, giving the heart a little rest. This pose making it easier for the heart to do its job of getting fresh oxygen to the blood cells and the feet and the legs. Bring the knees into the chest. Hook your right thigh over your left thigh. Give it a hug into the hip flexors. We're going to take the knees down to the floor on the left. Open up that right arm. That left hand can help the knees anchor to the earth. Breathe into the chest, the belly, and the rib cage. Inhale, come up through center, hook left over right, draw it in, stretch. Send your knees over to the right. Anchor the knees with the right hand, open the left arm out. And then bring your knees back into center. Let's take a full happy baby pose here. So like in the beginning when we had one foot, we're going to take both feet and just kind of rock a little bit side to side. You can stay here for as long as you want. If there's another pose that you want before Shavasana, maybe a Supta Baddha Konasana with the knees wide, feet together. And then when you're ready, go ahead and lay back, extending the legs out long, palms open to the sky. I'm going to sit up so I can guide you through a proper Shavasana here. Often on these yoga videos, they don't give time, and I'm guilty of this too. We don't give time for a proper um, Shavasana or entry into a proper Shavasana. So while you're laying onto your back, I'd like to guide you a little bit. Once you're on your back, just relax the hands. Palms are open to the sky in a relaxing external rotation of your shoulders. Let's take one last really big breath in. This time with the exhale, release all control over the breath, over the body, over the mind. Whatever thoughts are still kicking around in there. Soften your belly, soften your back. Soften into your chest and your shoulders. 
And relax your forehead, your eyes, your cheeks, your jaw. Soften your tongue and your mouth. Let your eyeballs sink down into their sockets. Just feeling your whole body weight melt into the earth, allowing the earth to support you and hold you while you get to release. Release whatever heaviness you've accumulated this week, this month, this year, through a lifetime. Release any residual tension, effort, or resistance from your physical body. And release any resistance, tension, or thought from your mind. Coming into your conscious state of relaxation for Shavasana. I'm going to hold this space for you for about three or four minutes. Start to bring awareness back to your breathing. Noticing and enjoying how that breath feels and moves in your body. And then start to expand your awareness back into your physical body by moving fingers and toes and wrists and ankles. And if you'd like a big stretch here, you can reach your arms back, feet forward, reaching and stretching for opposite walls with a really big inhale. And then exhale, pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little rock from side to side, maybe a circle with the knees in one direction and then the other. 
And then roll over to one side, take a pause and a breath, and try to keep the eyes closed as you make your way back to seated. And let's just take a moment in seated to root down, sit up tall, relax the shoulders, relax the face, and bring your breath and your awareness, maybe even a hand or both hands to your heart center, anchoring in that place in your body. Our minds have been so busy lately. So bringing that awareness into the heart space. Setting an intention to, rather than think your way through all the experiences in your life today, try to feel your way through some of those experiences today. From a heart space, from a feeling center, from an intuitive center. Knowing that we get the choice in what we connect with, who we connect with, and the energy that we surround ourselves with, that energy innately gets absorbed by each and every one of us. So choose the energy that you want to absorb wisely. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for giving me purpose in my practice today. Find some gratitude for the time and space you had today to practice. Bring your hands to your heart center. Take a really big breath in. And with the exhale, release anything you don't need that you've been carrying around, that you don't need to carry forward. And if you need another one, most of us probably do take it. Namaste. Thank you again for practicing with me. I will see you next time.